Hello and welcome to The Pin Man. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a pin that I actually came across through a website that really was pretending to be something it wasn't called the Daily Fountain Pen. And I have a review on that uh, website that's no longer around. It uh, since morphed into another website called uh, Note Dove, but uh, they're selling pins that they're renaming them their own. Uh, however, they are uh, Jin Hao's and other uh, Chinese brands. But today, we're gonna be looking at this Yiren 878. I'd never heard of Yiren before until I received this pin and opened it up and looked at the nib. And on it, it says Yiren. So anyway, it is a nice pin. I'm glad that I uh, got it but uh, I probably could have gotten it just a little bit cheaper, not much, it wasn't that expensive, but I probably could have gotten a little bit cheaper had I gone through eBay and uh, through the Yiren sellers uh, themselves. So, during our time together today, I'm gonna take, a, take you through a little tour of this uh, Yiren 878 and uh, give you uh, some size comparisons as well as a writing sample and some pros and cons of this pen. All right, thanks for tuning in and let's get going. All right, a tour for the Yiren 878. Uh, this pen usually goes for around uh, $6. I have seen it upwards uh, around 10, but you, you can get these for $6. They, they take, open up the body here, they take a standard international cartridge and converter. The converter comes with it, a cartridge does not. The nib on these is an is a fine nib and um, it kind of writes writes more like a maybe a medium fine to medium but you can only get them in the fine the dimensions on the pen are from nib tip to body finial is 124 millimeters capped it is 144, uh, excuse me, 140 millimeters posted. Ugh, and this does post. Rather heavy, but posted from nib tip to body or cap finial, I guess there, is 163 millimeters. The grip is 10.5 millimeters uh, on midpoint of the grip. The grip length is 24 millimeters. The body girth at the widest point, which would be right around there, is 12.5 millimeters. The weight, as far as the body alone, is 36 grams, which is pretty heavy. It is a metal pen, but you also have metal pens such as the Diplomat Excellence A, and that body is only 28 grams. So almost, so it's like a eight grams heavier here. So thicker metal, I guess. Uh, capped, it is 53 grams. The fluid capacity of the body, uh, just in case you're wondering, is 5.25 milliliters. Now this is a metal body and I do have a, an experiment going on, six month long experiment with another pen to see what its effect is on the inside of the metal body. But uh, you know, hey, just uh, for your extra information. The color of this pen is gunmetal and I think it's a really nice uh, color. I, I like the little swirls around there. 
you can get them <laughs> to match up if you really want but that just kind of adds a little character to it the clip is taut it's a nice uh, grip but it is rounded so it slips on fairly easy the cap is a snap cap but this cap is really tight um, it's firm and it and it goes on smoothly but again it's tight and again I can do it one-handed but I really have to put forth a little little extra effort will this post yes it will post but it is somewhat uh, back weighted as you can imagine with the pin the weight that uh, this was so um, yeah it's kind of it's kind of heavy there but you can you can post it it's big but you can post it all righty let's uh do some size comparisons for this Yiren 878. Here we have the Yiren 878. There's a Diplomat Excellence A. And then you have the Jinhao 75. Over here you have the Lamy Safari and the Jinhao X750. And here they are uncapped. And here they are posted. All right. All right. Writing sample for the Yiren 878. And this is a fine nib, although it writes, I would say, medium fine to medium the ink I am using is Sherwood Diamine Sherwood green No skips or hard starts. Moderate wetness. Decent wet. Okay. Let's see. How about reverse writing? More, obviously a little more feedback, but it's, it's not too bad. And then uh, keeps up there as well just keeps on going 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 yeah okay so a little little more uh, feedback scratchy-ish if you will on the uh, reverse writing but not too bad at all otherwise uh, this is a pretty good writer there oh what do I think about this I'll give it a smiley I don't give too many frowns but this is a smiley. There's some things I um, would prefer not about this pen, but um, for six bucks, I, I like it. Alrighty, how about some, take a look at some pros and cons. Eight. Uh, pro style. I really like this. It's a somewhat unique style. It, I don't discern any copies of other pin manufacturers it um, is fairly unique it is smooth uh, I like the rounded uh, band there I like the duplicate rounded band up here and at the at the cap the cap finial is is nice it's flat but there's a slight little tip there that's nice the clip is nice the yeah I just I just like it I like the grooves how they put these little grooves in there that you, you know you can line them up there it's snap cap so they don't line up automatically but you can line those up as you're using it so it's good 
I also like the nib. It is a fine nib. That's what it's labeled as, uh, as is a 0.5 millimeter, which is typically fine. But, uh, you know, it's got some nice decoration on it. And uh, it writes, if you like a fine nib, this will probably do. If you like extra fine, forget it. The, uh, I would say it probably writes more like a, a medium fine to medium. Uh, I like mediums, and so I wasn't disappointed in this uh, fine nib. The price is also something that I really like about this pen uh, because at six dollars well you can't you really can't go wrong I have seen it up to ten as I said earlier but uh, you can't go wrong six bucks for 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 a pen that is nice looking and writes nice can't go wrong okay cons well it is a uh, it is a metal pen and it could be heavy uh, for some people. The body is eight grams, about eight grams heavier than a Diplomat Excellence A. So yeah, that's, that's some weight and some people don't like that. Uh, another con may be the metal grip. It doesn't bother me, but uh, a lot of people don't like metal grips. They just, that's a, that's a deal breaker right there. So, but, Really, I can't see them making this pen, <clears throat> excuse me, with a plastic grip or a rubber grip or anything. It just, the gunmetal throughout just looks so much, so much nicer. Um, the snap cap is very tight. I mean, as you're putting it on, it kind of has a smooth click, but it's just tight. It takes some effort. I can do it one hand, but... Uh, it, it takes some effort. So if you don't mind the effort, uh, if it's not uh, too much of a trade-off with the style and all the other pros, then uh, that'd be great. But, you know, if you're, if you're going to be capping, uncapping this pen repeatedly, then eh, you're probably not going to appreciate that. But, uh, hey, for six bucks, <laughs> you can't go wrong. That's probably free shipping. So, anyway. So there's your pros and cons.